everyone. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to Cleef Hops. Jamie. <laughs> I'm John. John and uh, Jamie are new to the channel. What we're doing today is uh, cycling down to uh, that there London. It's about 180 miles away. So it's going to be a long day. What is it? It's just coming up to five o'clock. Sun's going to make an appearance soon, hopefully. It's going to keep the temperatures down a little bit. <laughs> is it normally over there? Yeah, no great sunrise shot this morning. Um, Chris, how come we're going 180 miles? It says 143 up there. Is it? So hello, good morning. We are waking away. We are making away to that there London. So 180 mile route that Chris has put together. Join me right now. I'm crossing over the Lincolnshire Walls with Lauf not too uh, far behind us. So there's a few hills at first and lots of flat as we head continuously south through the Lincolnshire Fens, Cambridgeshire. Flat, flat, flat. <laughs> and then there's some hills around Chatteris. A few more around there before flattening out again as we uh, reach the outskirts of London at Waltham Abbey. It's going to be a long, long day. How are we both feeling, lads? It's still going. Oh, still going. Yeah. It's about to head off the flat for most of the day, I guess, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All downhill from here, as you say. And we're just about to be joined by another as well as we head off the walls. He's Kirkby. Been joined by James Jones. Chris texted us the other day and said, Oh, I mean, could James have joined us? Like, James Jones, are we? Where do I recognise that name? James. The guy that helped me do the Everest did, he joined about 30 laps back in March. That was James, so uh, he's just up the road from here. So, there's going to be five of us heading to that there, London. On to the Lincolnshire Fens, Pancake Flat now, into the general direction of Boston. First stop of the day will be our March which I think is in Cambridgeshire, actually. I don't know how far the road is. I think I'll do a two hours, maybe, something like that. So let me tell you what's going on this weekend. Apart from riding down to London, myself and Chris, that's Chris ahead of me there, we're going to be taking part in the Dunwich Dynamo, which sets off tomorrow evening, Saturday, 8 p.m. Heading to Dunwich, which is in Suffolk. And then the camera will be off for a couple of days as we make our way through Norfolk on through the bottom end of Lincolnshire and home again. Loving the bar tape, John. Hey, Loving that bar tape you got on your bike. Yeah. Yeah. What can you tell me about the bike then, John? It's made by a company called Jay Gillen. And uh, for anybody that knows anything about titanium bikes, it was uh, Van Nicholas was obviously sort of the Thai king. Yeah. And uh, but basically when Van Nicholas was sold, uh, the young man that, uh, that set the company up called Jan Vincent St. Nicholas, um, basically moved, took himself and his family across to Mallorca and set up another company called Jay Gillen because that's what the locals in Mallorca called him. This bike is basically built by the same guy that built Van Nicholas. Ah. It's, uh, it's a lovely thing to ride. It's a, he's named all his bikes, they do four all together, but he's named them all um, after the famous Coles in, in Mallorca. Yeah. And uh, this one's called the uh, the Orient. It's quite a versatile sort of bike. It's not typical of titanium bikes. It's a bit stiff, but it's a lovely bike to ride. When you put the power down, it can really go. Yeah. It just seems to climb a lot better than any other bike I've ever ridden, I don't know why. You use of it. What's it feel like with all the weight on? Yeah, well, it looks like you have to be it? But, uh, I'm looking forward to getting it all off, it'd be like a whip it again. <laughs> That's the great thing about when you take it all off and you think, oh, you've got a new bike. <laughs>
Doesn't it? Yeah. Just just the cat in the front, did you see it? Yeah. Oh, you see, anything goes in Cambridge. Getting well on the way now. About 10 miles, I think the less, to March, first stop. Pulling into the cafe stop soon, aren't we, Chris? Yeah, 10 miles. Kind of halfway. So we're coming up to halfway. How do you feel in Jamie? Feeling good so far. Yeah. Don't feel like I want to crash into a river yet. Good. Yeah. And it's um, something to eat now. Yeah. And at this point, it's your longest ride, isn't it? What, longest what we? Ride by 95. 95 miles. We've just passed 95. Oh yeah, getting near to near to a ton. Sorry. Nearly 100 miles then. Yeah. And we've got another chunk to go as well. Yeah. Ten past eleven in the morning. 26.3 kilometers an hour, so it's about 16.3, I think we, yep. think we said. So, great pace. Good going. Good going, yeah. Perfect conditions, and we've not seen anything of the sun, which is kind of a bit of a blessing, really, because it's kept the temperature down, hasn't it? Yeah. We are just heading through Chatteris, and the sun is shining. The weather is sweet, yeah. Two thirds of the way done, 200 k making fantastic progress. And the sun is poking its face out as well, so it's warming up a little bit. Not everybody is happy about that one. Coming towards the end of the ride now on the outskirts of London. Just going up out to Wes, apparently that's what it's called. Uh, middle of a park here, a few air bins, that's all it is. Quite steep though. <laughs> Oh, can't wait to get somewhere to have something to eat and use the toilets. <laughs> Finally entering Canary Wharf. Getting a little bit used to cycling through London. This is a couple of times now. It's pretty mental, isn't it? If ever visited London on a bike, it's as mental as. So we're here at the Greenwich Foot Tunnel, about to go underneath the, I don't know what it is, the Thames, I guess, isn't it? I don't know what it is, of course I know what it is, it's the River Thames, isn't it? We've got a kiosk here, so I'm grabbing a hot dog, so is James, and everybody else needs to be having an ice cream or something. Apart from John, who's uh, having got the healthy option, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Like I didn't bring as much with me, so I'm kind of eating on the move, wanting to try and keep things like possible. Got a great ride so far, aren't we? It's nearly over with. So uh, don't forget if you want to support the channel, find a link to uh, buy me a coffee down below the video. So yeah, that'd be fantastic. Hope you enjoyed this one. Got any comments, questions, don't forget to stick it down below as well. Love to hear from you. James alright, yeah? Oh, yeah. This is his first 100 plus mile ride. 180 miles altogether, isn't it? So it's a big jump from 70 to 180. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you. We've, all, we've already celebrated a couple of pints, haven't we? So. More pints on the way, that's it. That, that was a pre-celebration, yeah. <laughs>Excellent, we've done it. Probably a good place to end the video. So, again, if you've got any comments, questions, head down below. I'll see you in the next one, which is, well, I'm going to be riding it tomorrow. It's the Dunwich Dynamo. Another, I don't know how long it is, but it's, it's another 300 basically. Going to be riding all the way through Norfolk. Anyway, that's next video. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.